That's kind of what we got this morning, fellas, folks. Why he's pushing that stuff in the bucket, less than taking it down the hill. You see what we had there. I had a wall, this wall come all the way around this corner right here. All the way around. And they also, they also had a little seat wall with a footing in like over this way. We had to get the footing out. And we got a footing right up against this walk right here. It got it out probably about 10 inches, 10 inches past that uh, brick. But there's gonna be a plant bed here, so what we had to do, take the jackhammer and cut the, cut the end of that footing off so they could be able to plant, get the plants in there. But like I said, we didn't film none of that yesterday. This stuff's kind of repetitive like we was talking about before. But, but anyway, See, we're trying to beat the rain. But these guys. Another thing too, I had mentioned it on any of the videos. But today's Weston's last day. He's gonna be leaving us. He's gonna be he he's took a job with another company. He's going back into fiber optic. We're whiting them. Had went after they'd got out of high school. Uh, both of them hired on. Actually, White hired on first and then got Weston a job over there where he is at. And he got an offer that, I mean, he just, it, it, was, a, it was a very good offer. If the job is anything like they promised, it'd be a good career move. I mean, he could stay in there and he's got, got good insurance, got good benefits, very healthy salary. Um, vacation time, you know, it's just a, it, it could be a dream job, you know, and I hope it is. I, I really hope it is. And, um, you know, we talked about it. He said, Dad, he said, you ain't mad at me. Well, I said, Lord, no, I ain't mad. I said, I said, maybe they got a room for an old 60 year old, 59, 60 year old man over there. Maybe we'll just all three go over there and go to work, but I'm just joking with him. But anyway, sometimes, you know, uh, we get to talking. I told him about that green grass. Everybody's heard about the green grass over on the other side of the fence and in the other pasture. Green. The grass is always greener on the other side. We've always heard that. But, but sometimes, I hate to say it, but sometimes that green grass, what makes that green grass grow is what's underneath it. And it's horse manure. And that's just an easy... That's a that's a light way of putting what that manure is, but uh, it's gonna be good if it, if if they hold up their end, he holds up his end. It, it'd be a good it'd be a good step for him. The job that he's taking's got legs, what I call legs. Um, the job that they had had legs, and I told them, you know, when they uh, they hired on over there, I said you learn the skill. You learn a skill that them folks will teach you. I said that job will have legs, and uh, I said, you know, what's that, what's that mean, Dad? I said that that job will walk. You can you can you can be away from that job and have an opportunity somewhere else because it's something that what they did they they was in the fiber optic world, and both of them got trained to to splice fiber, and that's something that. You know, I've never done that. I can't do it. I could learn it, but and everybody could learn it, but there's not but so many splice jobs out there, and both of them had the opportunity to to uh, learn that trade, and both of them, as far as I know, were very good at it. You know, they've both been called back and said, hey, you, don't, you know, but the down the down side of that whole deal is you're on call just about 24-7, and you've got to go. I mean, when that when there's some, when there's an outage, you got to go. There's there's no hey, I, I'll do it in the morning. Just you know, just put it on ice. I'll 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 be there in the morning. You know, let me get my coffee and I'll be there. You when they was in the when they was in the splicing part of it, both of them had to have their bags packed in their truck. A lot of times when they went to a family event, a lot of times they went separate. They drove separate from their wives. And um, I remember Weston at his daughter's birthday party, one year old birthday party. We pulled in the parking lot, going to celebrate the 
his daughter's birthday. And uh, he said, Dad, I got a call. He said, what do I do? I said, son, you got to go. And he had to go. He had his backpack. They drove separate. He, I think he wound up in Wilmington that day at his daughter's first birthday party. But, but anyhow, that's it. That's it. I'm babbling on here. He's, we're going to miss him. Uh, it's kind of bittersweet. Uh, they're on my end. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss being around him every day. It's, it, I think it's every man's dream that, that uh, their sons do what they do or want to do what they do. Um, but it's also the dad's part about wanting their, their child to do what they want to do and make a good living for their family and not have to struggle and this could put him in a uh, good situation where, um, like you said, everything pans out. And he'll be in good shape. All he's got to do is go to work, do his job, come home, and uh, everything be good. I think White, he's still with me. When we, me and White, we're going to do what we can do. And go from there. And... Uh, that's just the way it. That's just the way it is. Look, I'm gonna get up here and get at it. I gotta find my mask here. I'm gonna burn, cut them brick. We we'll get on what we're getting on. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit.